In the end, one Bryant Park tower will stand tall, 365 meters high. When it is fully operational, the tower will be one of the greenest in the world. And it may be leading the way into our urban future. The building is expected to reduce both energy and water consumption by 50%, and its occupants will benefit as well. They will have a healthier environment, they will have uh, clean air to breathe, they will be in an environment that they can feel not only proud about, but we will be giving them a better physical environment to be in, and this is a good blueprint for the future. But with the high cost of building green, and with global temperatures rising, can one Bryant Park make an impact? By itself, usually one building won't make a difference. We've got to really get this widespread, because Manhattan Island's a small island, but we, we really have to transform huge numbers of surfaces and systems and technologies in order to make a dent in the climate. Some believe the momentum has already begun to shift and the trend may be contagious. Many of the ideas in One Bryant Park are finding their way into other buildings already. And in another few years, we'll see lots and lots of things like it. I don't think there's any question but that we're at a tipping point. Maybe we've crossed it. We're already over the line. The goal was to create the greenest building we possibly could. So people are watching carefully, like, gee, how did the Bank of America decide to spend the money to do a seriously green building? And in that small way, I hope that the building will be a trigger for lots of other projects around the country and around the world.